Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you a way that you can copy pictures from PDF files and save them as pictures on your computer. Um, we're going to use a program called Sumatra PDF to do this. So if you just search Sumatra PDF, it's a completely free open source program you can download and use. The design's kind of terrible of it, but it's really great. Um, I've used this for a long time, I use it personally and in my business. And it's just awesome. So you can download it here. You can download either the portable version, which means you don't even have to install it and it'll still run, or the installer. You can do a 64 bit or 32 bit. Most modern computers, 64 bit will be fine. Once you have it installed, uh, you can just open it up. So if you search like Sumatra PDF, um, you can just open, navigate to any uh, file that you want to open up, and you can open it. Or you can just go right to your uh, file. And I'm doing these ones here. So these are all PDF files. And by default, Windows 10 wants to open this PDF file in a uh, using the, the internet browser. But I'm going to right click and go to open with and go Sumatra PDF. So now it's in Sumatra. And the reason I do that is the method I'm going to show you, you just right click on the picture. But in this browser one that Windows has built in, it doesn't let you. That's why we download Sumatra PDF. There's also some other really cool tools involved in Sumatra PDF. But I'm just going to go to open it here. We'll right click and go copy image. And then you can just uh, go to like any like Photoshop or paint uh, or any, or I use GIMP a lot, but I'll just show you on paint here. And then push control V and you can paste that image. And then you just go to save. And you can save it like on your desktop. We'll call it test image. And now we've got this picture right here. So here's the version that's a PDF. And here's the version that is the uh, actual picture, it's a dot, what did I save it as? I didn't even look. Properties, dot PNG. Um, or like I said, if you, have, if you haven't used GIMP, check out my other video where I talk about GIMP. It's a great free alternative to Photoshop and it's just awesome. But you can do the same thing, so paste it in here. And then you have lots of control over, you can export it in all kinds of different formats. Um, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, all kinds of different things. So yeah, that's it. Um, oh, one more thing I was gonna show you. This is a great way too, you can actually find some hidden information. Like if you go to, I think, yeah, this picture will have it. So this one, this just shows one image here. But if we copy it, oh, we gotta do it in Sumatra PDF. And once we copy it, we go copy image. And now when we go to paste it, watch what's gonna happen. Ah, uh -huh. so that image was just this is all we were really seeing, but there was all these these hidden images, these other six hidden images. Um, the data was in that PDF file, but we we're only able to see the one. So sometimes you'll find some hidden data in a PDF file too, which is kind of cool. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Just kind of a quick one. I was just ran into this problem and found a quick way for getting those off, uh, getting images off of PDF files. There's also other ways. There's like online converters. There's all kinds of cool, like if you use Linux, you can just use Linux commands and just like batch do them all at once. But this is a quick, easy way to do it on Windows. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.